Hi, I'm Ella. And I'm Elliot. Today we're presenting on behalf of the COVID Surge Collaborative on pre-operative testing and post-operative pulmonary complications in patients undergoing elective surgery during the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. The COVID Surge Collaborative is based out of the NIHR Global Health Research Unit on Global Surgery at the University of Birmingham and has grown to involve thousands of researchers, surgeons and clinicians from across the world. During the first wave of a pandemic, COVID Surge estimated that 28 million elective operations would be cancelled globally. Our cohort study, published in The Lancet, showed that surgical patients who tested positive for SARS-CoV-2 had high rates of pulmonary complications and mortality. So how do we restart elective operations safely during a global pandemic? This was an international cohort study of patients not suspected of SARS-CoV-2 undergoing elective surgery across 10 cancer disciplines. Our aim was to investigate the effect of different pre-operative testing strategies on post-operative pulmonary complications at 30 days. We analysed over 8,000 patients in 432 hospitals across 53 different countries. We compared patients undergoing no preoperative testing, swab testing, CT testing or both. On adjusted analysis, swab testing was the only preoperative testing strategy that yielded a significant benefit with an adjusted odds ratio of 0.68. The number of patients needed to swab to prevent one pulmonary complication is lowest in areas of high SARS-CoV-2 incidence and in those undergoing major surgery. Our take-home message is that a preoperative testing strategy is important to identify pre- or asymptomatic patients. This is best achieved with a single preoperative swab test and is particularly important for patients undergoing major surgery in high incidence areas. Surgery can then be delayed on infected patients to reduce the risk of pulmonary complications and death. COVID Surge has shown that the best way to rapidly generate high quality data is through international collaboration. We welcome researchers from all surgical disciplines to include their patients in our research and we follow a collaborative authorship model. Our network has gone from strength to strength and now includes over 14,000 collaborators across 123 countries. We would like to thank NRCM for the opportunity to present and a huge thank you to our sponsors who have made this research possible.